Hi, this is Megan Bax with EXP Realty, Seabach Team. I'm out here in front of um, a property on Rockwood, which is in North Phoenix. It's one street in, but uh, the back faces the other way from Union Hills. So, you can hear a little bit of traffic noise in the front, but otherwise not bad. You've got a smooth exterior stucco, tile roof, two-car garage. Desert landscape in the front, you've got a drip system and everything, but nice, easy to maintain, beautiful. I think it's a ficus. Here you've got a ring doorbell and um, the nice screen door to allow for airflow. Ceramic tile on the entry and it goes right into a nice wood floor. Get your stairs to the right and then your living room here. Formal dining. Uh, for your laundry, you've got um, plenty of room for an HE and some nice shelving above. And then on this side, you've got a really nice setup for additional storage. I don't see the light. Um, basic two car garage with um, lots of additional storage, which is nice. It's got some nice architectural features, uh, including potting shelves and these nice arched doorways. Two tone paint, um, two panel doors. In the powder room, you have pedestal sink, um, but it's a nice and spacious powder room, ceramic tile in there. <laughs> Wood flooring's in great shape. You've got um, two inch faux wood blinds. Really nice kitchen with a huge island. And I like that they did the island dark and then your cabinets in here are white. Satin nickel poles. You've got a double oven, all stainless, except for the microwave. It's a Samsung refrigerator, Kenmore Elite uh, washer and your dishwasher and your undermount sink are in this big island. But check out this beautiful granite. It's a really high-end granite. You can tell by the long runs through here. They spent a lot of money on this granite. Check out the backyard. You got flagstone. Or it may just be uh, stamped concrete. Actually, looks like it's stamped concrete. Um, out here around the pool, it's in great shape. Fire pit, great spot over here for barbecue. Your AC's over on the side there. And then this nice spot here, he's got um, desert tortoises. So um, they've got it blocked off there, but really nice spot for a dog or whatever. You could put synthetic grass in there if you want. Um, if you want something a little lower maintenance. Nice block wall back there. It'll block the noise from your pool. Pebble Tech pool, it's in great shape. Um, back here, we've got two orange trees and a palm. You can see the nice mountain in the background. And then behind it, you're gonna see there's a park. Uh, it's probably also where water collects when it rains a lot, but really nice. It's very private feeling. You've got a single story on either side. Really a lovely home. Um, the small one is a lemon tree as well, so you've got lots of citrus. You got a bench seat here. It is a diving pool, which is a little bit unusual out here. Um, let's see what else out here. So it is built to have a little nook here where you could do some storage. With the island popped out like that, you probably wouldn't want to do a table, but that's okay because you got room right over there. Pantry.
All right, stairs are really nice in that they have this landing in the middle. So it's really um, architecturally pleasing. It's not just like a straight up boring staircase. When you come up here, you have a loft um, area. You can't see it from here, but we'll see it from the other room. It's got incredible views. So a loft to the left, then you have your master retreat. Nice big walk-in closet. I don't think I'm doing it justice, hold on. There you go. Vaulted ceilings in here, so it feels really big and spacious. You can see this is a big king size bed and they've still got room for plenty of other furniture in here. Really nice spot over here for your TV setup. And then you can see they've done a nice upgraded flooring in here. Soaking tub, executive height cabinet. It looks like a culture marble top, satin nickel faucet. The dark cabinets with the satin nickel poles, separate water closet, and then a standalone shower. But again, that's a decorative nook. It's just things that make this really pop. You can see the archways. <clears throat> it's got about a two inch baseboard throughout. This is one of my very favorite parts of this house, though I have a lot of them. You've got this nice covered patio up here. I mean, covered patio, nice patio of the master, obviously not covered. And then you can see back there, you've got the park and it is also probably gonna be, if you get a lot of flooding, there's gonna be some water and you can see it's gonna kind of go that way. You can kind of get an aerial of the yard up here. I didn't mention this, but you do have French doors coming in here, so really easy to get big furniture in. And of course, it just looks more elegant. Here is your second full bath. Same really nice um, wood plank look flooring. Culture marble surround, it's in excellent shape. Executive height counters, it might not be executive height, but close. And I like this too, you've got the windows in here to kind of make that feel open, but still be safe for kids. Um, second bedroom, again, wall-to-wall -wall closet, but nice, a lot of space for furniture. They're not tiny bedrooms. And then same here, really nice space. Let me know what you think and if I can get you any other information on this one. Thanks.